We already touched on some of the functions that PySpark offers us to wrangle our data. As you might remember, we imported the functions from PySpark. Now as a quick refresher, here's how we can import a wide range of functions that we can use to wrangle our data. For most of the applications I write, this is one of the first lines I enter. So we're gonna say import pyspark.sql.functions as f. And this imports functions from pyspark.sql.sf into my session. We can now use a large selection of functions that reside within f. And we can use those functions on data frames or on columns in data frames. So for what do we need those functions, you might ask? Remember the call function, for example, which we used for filtering our data. We used call to represent a single column in our data frame. So for example, to filter our Titanic data frame to females, we could do the following. So we could say Titanic dot filter f dot call sex is equal to female. And let's show that. So f.call sex represents the column sex inside our data frame. However, there are much more functions that are vital to data wrangling. So let's create a new column, which will be a Boolean showing us whether or not a person is a passenger in first class. And for that, we will first use the with column method on our data frame, and that method is used to create new columns. It takes two arguments. First, the name of the new column or the name of the column you would like to overwrite. And second, the expression that forms the value for that new column. In our case, we want true when p class is equal to one and false otherwise. So we save that inside the first class column. And here's how we do that. So we wanna create a new column. So we say Titanic is equal to Titanic dot with column. So we tell it, hey, we want to create a new column and the name of that new column will be first class. And the value will be, well, f call p class is equal to one, whatever the result of that is. We're gonna show the result. And there you are. So right over there is our column first class. So it's false when the uh, class is not one and it is true when the class is one. So notice how I overwrote the Titanic data frame with a new version of itself. So I created a new column called first class and the value is equal to whatever is the result of checking P class for equality with one. And since tests for equality return a Boolean value, it is exactly what I want. We could also create a column holding a literal value. Let's assume we want to create a new column containing the name of the ship they are on. So in our case, it's pretty simple. So we say Titanic with column and that name will be ship. And that will hold the name of the ship there on and it's always the same. So it's a literal value. So we say f dot lit and then we just enter the value and that is Titanic. And let's show the result. Yep, oh, that's quite a lot. So let's select only the name and the ship. All right, that's much better. So this time I don't save the result since it provides rather limited value for us and it is more for demonstration purposes. Again, I am using the with column method which will create a new column in our data frame. I call this new column ship and the value is the literal value of Titanic. For that I use lit inside functions. Of course, we could also enter a number or Boolean instead of a string. So for example, you could say something like I want a new column that is called one. And the value is always the number one. So I know that doesn't make a lot of sense, but it shows what I mean, right? You could also do it like that. Of course, you could also change existing columns. So what I'm going to show you is just a very small selection of available functions. However, underneath this video, I will post a link to the documentation that shows a detailed description of all available functions. So let's say we want to calculate the logarithm of the fare, since there are some pretty large values and we want a more normal distribution of that column. Also, we want to create a new column for that. So it's pretty easy to do. So we're gonna say Titanic is equal to Titanic. So let me clear the screen. Titanic 
then with columns. So we're going to create a new column, and that column name will be fair underscore lock. And the value will be, well, f.log, and we want the column fair as input. All right, so we're going to create a new column called fair underscore lock, and the value will be, well, whatever the result is if we put the value in the fair column into the lock column. So we're basically just taking the logarithm. All right, let's select the fair and fair lock column. Let's show that. All right. So PySpark did what we wanted it to do. Since I overwrote the existing data frame with the new version, we can now use that column in all further calls. We can also do conditional recoding, and we might want to create a qualitative description of the age column, for example. So we could say if the age is below 18, we want the column to be equal to minor, and if it is 18 or above, we want the column to be equal to adult. So that's actually pretty simple to do. So we can say Titanic is equal to Titanic with column, because we want to create a new column. And that column will be, let's call it edge underscore class. And now we're going to use the when function. And it uh, takes two arguments. So first we're going to input an expression that results in a Boolean. So um, let's say when the column age is below 18, well, com comma, what value should we include? Well, we want the literal value of minor. All right, so close that. And f to that when function, you want to use a method call called otherwise. So what, what if the age is not below 18? Well, then we want the literal value of adult. Make sure that I close those parentheses correctly. Yeah, that should work. So let's select the age column and age underscore class, and let's show that. All right, there you are. So you can see, for example, someone who is 35 is labeled as an adult, and someone who is two years old is labeled as minor. Now, it can look a bit intimidating at first, but it's actually pretty simple. So you say with column, so that will create a new column called age class. Then we're gonna use f when, and the first argument must be an expression that results in a Boolean. So we say, okay, check if age is less than 18. Then the next argument will be whatever value you want to put in if that Boolean expression results in true. So in that case, if the age is below 18, we want the literal value of minor. You could, for example, choose another column as well, or you could do some calculation or whatever. Now, if we want to say, hey, if it is not less than 18, we got to include the otherwise um, call to the when function. And inside that, you just put in whatever value you ha want to have for that row if the Boolean results in false. So if age is not less than 18. And in our case, we want the literal value of adult. Of course, we can also work with text data, and maybe we want to extract the title from a passenger's name. And for that, we can use the regexp underscore extract function. And it takes three arguments, the name of the column you want to extract the regex from, the actual regular expression itself, and the group to work on. And in our case, we basically want the first word out of every name. And in this case, we're not working with groups, so you can just insert zero. So as a quick refresher, let's have a look at the name column, how it looks like. And for every name, we basically want the first word. So that will be the title. All right, so how do we do that? Well, we say Titanic is equal to Titanic. Create a new column, hence we're gonna use the with column method. And that column will be title. Next, what should be the value? Well, we want whatever is the result of the regexp underscore extract function call to the column name. Then we want to use a regular expression. And if you haven't used regular expressions before, this might look a bit weird. So we're going to use the hat symbol, an escape character, capital S, a plus. Make sure you put an R in front of the uh, quotation mark so R, um, that Python knows um, we are want to raw string. And a zero. All right. 
So close to the array XP call, the with column, save that and let's have a look whether or not it worked. So let's select the name at the title column and let's show that. All right. So as you can see, I overwrite the Titanic dataset and inserted a new column called title. And the value for that column is equal to extracting the regular expression hat backslash capital S and plus. If you don't know regular expression again, this basically represents one or more characters that are not equal to space characters at the beginning of the string. And this basically translates to the first word of the string. And since we're not working with groups, we just put in zero. So I picked up the title like we want it. And next we might want to create a Boolean value that checks whether or not a person has a common title. And that basically means we need to check if the title is equal to Mrs, Mr, or Miss. And for that we can use the isIn method of call. So let me clear the screen. So we can do it like this. So Titanic with column, we're going to want to create the column common title and the um, value will be, well, we're going to check whether or not the title column is in a list of values. So we're going to use Mr, Mrs and Miss. And we're going to check whether or not the value in title is in that list. All right, so let's do that and let's have a look again. So I'm gonna select the title and common title variable and let's show the result. All right, there you are. So we could, for example, use the Boolean variable in a model to check whether or not a special title had impact on the chances of survival, for example. And maybe you want to do more text mining in the passenger's names. For most applications, you need to somewhat normalize your text data. And often converting string columns to lowercase is one of the first operations you do. And we can do that um, and create a new column that holds the content of the name column, but in lowercase. So we could say Titanic with column name lower, name underscore lower is equal to f and we're going to use the lower function and we just input the name column into that function let's select the name and name underscore lower and let's have a look at that all right as you can see, working with functions follows a basic pattern. You import the function's object from PySpark.sql and use them wherever you would call a function in normal Python code. However, they are most often inserted in a with column method call and the f.call is most often one of the arguments you would give to it. And in the following sections, we will take a deep dive into several functions.